In this video, we are going to learn about integrating the Gemini API with the Python code and sending text information and generating the input out of that text information. We'll log it into the ai.google.dev and use the API key. Thereafter, we will write a code in Python, integrate the Google API, and create a program using text and output it out. So in the output, you would be able to see that the AI returns the entire program. I've used Fibonacci series and the Fibonacci series will be returned out. So we are going to talk about the Gemini dashboard, how to use it, how to create the API, and then write the code and generate the output. Also, we are going to talk about the different models of the Gemini API. So let's get started. In this chapter, we are going to learn about the uh, Google Gemini dashboard. So open up Google and uh, open the link aistudio.google.com. So once you open the studio, we'll ask you to log in. We'll uh, log in over here. So once you have logged in, you will see this screen. It says, get started with the Google Gemini API and sign into Google AI Studio. Once you click on the sign into Google AI Studio, you will see the Google AI Studio dashboard. Here you can get the API key. Here you can uh, create the new prompt. These are different models about the different models we'll talk about in the different chapter so to create an api key just click on get api key and here you can create an api key over here by clicking on the create api key button has got it. It says select, select the project where you want to create an API key. I can select any of the project which I've been working on. Let's select my first project and create API key in existing project. So once you have this API key, you can use this API key in in running your code and connecting it with, with Gemini. Now we come to creating new prompt. Just click on create new prompt and uh, click over here, edit the title and uh, instructions. I will uh, write over here discussion with Gemini, description is optional, save. So once you click on the save prompt, a new prompt will be opened where you can talk to Gemini same as the chat GPT. I will ask Gemini to create me table of contents with funny jokes so create a, a table with the following columns
jokes let's say jokes questions and answers questions and answers and then i will select Already, I'm selecting the 1.5 flat, which is fast enough. Or oh, else I can select the 1.5 flat, which will be more technical. So you can see it has generated me a table of two columns with questions and answers. These are jokes. It works similar to the chat GPT. Currently, Gemini is not able to create images. So if you can create me an image of a panda and execute this, it won't be able to execute it. You say that, I'm sorry, as a text-based AI, I cannot directly create the images. Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about how we will integrate the Google API, which is the Google Gemini API with Python. And uh, using the Gemini API, we can generate images, generate code. In this video, I'm using, I'm going to use text to generate the code. We will provide text as the input and use the Gemini API to generate the code. So let's start off. I have the Google Code Gemini API project open. I'm gonna give any name to the project. And, and uh, in this, I will open a file, second file, which is the uh, Google code generator using Gemini API. Import the Google native API library. Import the OS library. We'll import dot environment and instead of importing dot environment, we'll just import the function from dot environment, which is the load dot environment function. So what this load.environment function will do, it will load the environment variables. Here we need to write load.environment and uh, in the project will provide an environment file, go to new and file, create one environment file.env. In the environment file, we can give the values of the Google API key. And inside this, we have to provide the Google API key. How? So for the time being, I'm just providing a test value over here. Later on, I will replace this value with the actual Google API. Go back to my code and here I'm going to install the Google generative library. Oh, sorry, it's a Google generative AI library.
then I'm going to install Python dot environment as a pip install Python dot environment. So my libraries are got installed. Now I can test if my environment variables are getting returned. So here I'm going to write OS dot get environment keys. And inside this, write the key which I've just entered. So this should return me the environment variables which I entered it entered as a text. So you see the test is returned. Now we can remove this. It's not required now. And I'm going to configure the API keys. You can give it a name as Jen. Gen dot configure API key is equal to OS dot get environment inside the get environment will enter the environment keys. So this will configure the Google generative environment keys. Model is equal to model is just a variable which I have taken. Here I'm going to use the model of the generative AI. get model or uh, rather select the generative models. So the model which I'm going to select over here is the Gemini 1.5 Pro latest models. So generative models is showing up uh, some error over here. Then this generative model is uh, not callable. We are not going to use this function. We are going to use a generative model, which is this one, and select the required model over here, which is generate Gemini 1.5 Pro latest. Now, why we selected the Gemini 1.5 Pro latest, we are now going to discuss about this. So you will find the Google API Gemini models in this page, which is the ai.google.kdev Gemini API Docs model Gemini. I will provide this link in this video. So the Gemini API offers different models and that are optimized for specific use cases. If you see here, we have AQA, which is a text-based model. It provides source-grounded answers to questions. 
text embedding is a model which provides measuring the relatedness of text strings. Gemini 1.0 is deprecated now. So we are, going to, we are not going to talk about this. We are going to talk about the other models, which is Gemini 1.0 Pro. This is natural language task and multi-turn test and chat and code chat. So if we want to generate the code, we would use the gen Gemini 1.0. This is used for natural language text task. Gemini 1.5 flask is for audio images, videos, and text. This is fast and versatile performance, and uh, you can use it for the variety of tasks. And the latest is the Gemini 1.5 Pro. This is again audio images and video text. This is used for complex reasoning tasks such as code generation, text editing, and problem solving. So if we want to use something complex, we are going to use Gemini 1.5 Pro. So once we have declared the model, we will generate the response. Response is equal to model dot generate content. Generate content is a function which is available in the model object. And with this function, we will be able to generate the content. Here we need to pass the text. So I will pass the text to code to find people. Nessie series in Python. So this code will, this text will return the code for finding the Fibonacci series. And uh, here I'm just going to print response dot text. So Let's execute this. We got an error that says all logs are returned to STDR. So here it says the API is not valid. Yeah, so I haven't updated my API yet. My API is just pointing to the test value. I mean, once I update this API, I will be able to execute this. Let me just update my API value. So I have updated my API, and now let's execute this code again. In executing, we got a warning that the platforms like Windows and Linux are not yet supported. And here we got our code to find the Fibonacci series. So you can see here it says the Fibonacci series function call. Here is the logic of the program, generate the terms. So this way we are able to find the code using the Gemini API. Gemini API is free to use, open source.